talking about a list and I'm looking top three. Give a f about a lead. Ain't nobody like me. Yeah, you know I mean. Season 5 has arrived, and if you're looking to unleash the power within, then check out the following events. This weekend, aboard the Concha Del Mar, earn treasure at Gold Rush. All the VC you win in Annie Up will be used as your event score, and the winner will be dripping in gold. And in the city, make your way to Mobile One Grand Prix. You know the drill. Start your engines and finish the race for a chance to earn exclusive My Player items and unlimited block boosts. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Allie LaForce, on the sidelines. We've got the visitors and the Chicago Bulls. And the continued absence of James Harden, one of the stories for this team. I mean, the injury situation, a difficult one for both teams. Now, we'll see which side can overcome this adversity. This is where you have that deep roster and ask for the next man to stand up. Opportunity for someone to step in and shine. Now the starting group for the visitors. Stephen Curry is out there with Emmanuel Quickly. Then it's Joe Harris. Then there's LeBron James. And it's smooth in at the power forward position. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul of the game. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Well, Candace, the Bulls have churned through over a dozen head coaches since the Zen master left. But they feel they now have the right fit with Billy Donovan. Billy Donovan, obviously a coach that's come from college, transitioned into the NBA seamlessly, and he did that because he understands how to communicate with young stars. And that's what the Chicago Bulls have, and that's what they're trying to build. Uh, Steph Curry has amazing confidence in his shooting ability, and why not? And the layup falls. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. That one's good from James on the assist by Quickly. And that's automatic for LeBron. Outstanding at recognizing when to shoot off the catch. 
pass to Bull. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That'll be a second foul of the game. He's sure drawing those whistles. A couple of quick ones here. The steal. Well, Candace, you're one of the most prolific scorers in league history. Someone has to get you the ball, though. What do you like Number in a point guard? I love a point guard that is in control of the game, that knows when to push, knows when to get back, and knows the position that players like the ball in. The point guards that have been the best that I've played with at the beginning of the season have asked me, where do you want the ball? And when you ask those questions, you get solid answers, and it makes the team better. I'm honored to be your TV point guard, Candace. Man, you throw no looks, and they're so... Man, I'm ready, B.A. I'm ready to catch those no looks. <laughs> Brown against Harris. Five to shoot. To the inside. The fadeaway. Shot by Levine, no good. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Knocks it down from distance. Five points in the game. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let-up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Here's Ball. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. All right, Candace. I know you grew up a Chicago Bulls fan. Who was your favorite player on those legendary Bulls teams, not named Michael Jordan? Well, you know, I loved following the Bulls, especially in the '90s. That was when I fell in love with basketball. Um, but there was a guy named Ron Harper that I really enjoyed watching. I think that he was a huge piece in their championship run. And um, you know, before he joined the Bulls, he used to give number 23 a, a couple battles when he was with the Cavs. I thought you might go with Dennis Rodman. For me. That's Stephen a good one too. Curry. The big story thus far: how well they've shot the rock. Chicago trailing here. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Now a timeout called by Chicago. They're moving on after the tough loss at the hands of the Pelicans. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Puts it up from 12. The Bulls with another miss. Brown against James. Shoots over Brown. Shots good by James. James has got his second bucket on the night. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Ball against Curry. And that one is stuffed right through. Great read, great vision, and great awareness from Lonzo Ball. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Curry. Sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Well, Candace, we're seeing a lot more national broadcast of WNBA games. Great to see that enhanced spotlight on the women's game right now. Yes, visibility is so important. You can't understand what you're not able to see. And so it's going to be um, crucial for our game's growth to continue to have that. First one falls for him. Well, if you're going to perfect your shooting stroke, it's not just about the three. Sometimes it's about settling in and getting to the free throw line to get those mechanics down and Lonzo is improving. So he gets them both. The visitors with the ball. Nine point game. Curry passes to quickly. Kept alive. And Williams over to help. 
Tries again. And that one's good. Quickly. quickly. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. As we've seen him develop in this league, Levine has become a better passer, willing to move the rock. Ball with it. Now guarded by Curry. Ball passes to Williams. Here's Levine. Outside, Williams. Shot clock at six. Missed inside. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Smooth shot is good. Three point. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Ball against Curry. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Levine for three. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. A steady shooter from deep. Levine's lift on his shot makes it difficult to defend. Curry. And it comes off the front of the rim. To the paint. Levine. That one's good. Levine's got five now. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first. Nails it from beyond the arc. Three. Quickly's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Pass the ball. Williams with it. Outside, Brown. Here's Levine for three. The shot, no good. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Leading by nine. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball, constantly in transition. Well, Candace, you've won WNBA titles, college titles, gold medals. I could go on and on. Is there a championship that you cherish the most? The WNBA championship for me um, is the best of the best. I think that was the championship that took the longest to get. And that was the hardest. You know, I think because of that, I appreciate it that much more. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Stephen Curry. Then there's Cody Zeller. Then it's Joe Harris. And it's smooth in at the four. Sinks the tray. Give him eight points now. Yeah, that's just working for the better shot. We always talk about in the NBA, good to great, great possession there. Let's it go from 11. Caruso misses. Here's smooth. Give him eight. Pure from three-point range. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And that's a, a foul called on Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry. That's his third foul so far. Third yeah, looking up at the foul. scoreboard, guys, that's his First third foul. foul. And his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Outside, Williams fires for three. Well, Candace, this is now the second consecutive season that has not been a traditional offseason. Not quite as short of a recovery time as from the bubble, but still three months from the end to the beginning of the next season. That's not a lot of time to get it going again. It's not a lot of time. But you have guys that will learn from past years. Um, you know, basketball now is a year-round sport. You're going to have to continue to take care of your body. That's your investment. That's the way that you get out there and play. So I think you're going to see more guys not necessarily taking complete time off, but still getting in the weight room and working on their bodies. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. 
Thanks, Brian. Well, Zach Levine with his first All-Star selection in 2021, and then the Bulls added a second All-Star, Nikola Vucevic, at the trade deadline. Levine said, we got another big-time player here. Guys, with this combination, they have a chance to be special. Well, they're putting some pieces together, Allie. Thanks for that. Pulls it. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Curry's got 10 points. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Now here's White. Into the lane. That one goes in. Well, the NBA looking at a midseason tournament, but that's already off the ground in the WNBA with the Commissioner's Cup. All right, Candace, how do you like it? Well, I'd like it a lot more if uh, my team was in the Commissioner's Cup, but it was, uh, it was great. I think it made you know, regular season games that much more competitive and it made time playing out, time out. for something. For the the Chicago calls timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. The Bulls making a switch here. Green is checked in. Pass to Caruso. Outside, Green. Oh, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three-second violation. At the line for the Bulls. And so he hits the technical free throw. Young, he's checked in for Zeller. Outside, Green. Puts it up from the high post. Not enough on that one as it misses. Candace, the WNBA has just reached its 25th anniversary. You've been a big part of the league for a lot of that time. What changes have you noticed through the years? Well, the league has definitely grown. It's 25 years, and I like to say 25 years. Now. I think we have a whole lot more upside. Um, the style of play is changing, and it's definitely benefiting watching and it being entertainment. So. I think that we need to continue to grow our game, maybe a couple expansion teams, bigger rosters, so that more talented players can make the WNBA. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Here's Caruso. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Connects from downtown. Oh, you got to love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Guarded by Young. Back to White. Outside, Green. Six on the shot clock. That one rolls around and rims out. Green's gone one for three from the field here. Here's Young. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Young's got seven points here in the quarter. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finding his offense. Quickly against White. Pass to Caruso. The kick out to White. Over quickly. White can't hit. A minute and a half left in the first half of basketball. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. Some changes for Chicago. Zach Levine comes in for Jones. And it's ball in for White. On defense, the Bulls. Down by 15. Smooth, no good. Uh, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. 
and that's going to be good nine out of ten times. All right, Candace, always great to have you on the broadcast. Hope you can come back real soon. We'll save a spot for you. Oh, I'm going to hold you to that, VA. I'll hold you. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, just couldn't make the connection, but you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. Guarded by Young. Here's Caruso. Banked it in off the glass. Caruso's got five points now this quarter. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Quickly. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Assisted by Curry's got assist Stephen number five Curry. here tonight. When your superstar is as unselfish as Steph Curry is, that's what gets other guys going. Good on the bucket. Caruso's got seven. Caruso's gone three of four here from the field. Here's Young. Lays it up and banks it in. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Now here's Ball. He's got seven. Levine with it. Now guarded by Harris. They get it again. Pass to Caruso. Quickly against Ball. Clock at six. Jacks up a three. And Young pulls it down. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Drives to the hoop. And Young slams it in. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Up by 15. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, they killed it on the glass. And they did it with high-level fundamentals. Locking out, maintaining position, and going up strong to the basket. If they board like that in the second half, this league will continue to grow. Looking at Chicago, Shaq, your thoughts? Well, with the way they struggled to defend the three-point line, it started to look like the warm-up drill. They're not be afraid to bring more defenders out high. They got to make life tougher on those outside shooters. about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Well, Brad, you could light it up from three-point range. You ever think about how well-suited you would be to the modern game? There are nights, B.A. There are long nights where I can't sleep dreaming about playing in some of these systems. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Troy Brown out there with Patrick Williams. That's the group for Billy Donovan getting going here in the second half. Now here's Levine to the middle. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. <laughs> and that one's good. He's shooting well. Doing his best to keep this offense in gear. But he hasn't had a lot of support. Young with the bucket. And how about that? Coming out to start the half. A perfect three of three. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Pass to Brown. For three. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got four assists in the game. You see right there, that is why everybody is still very high on Lonzo Ball. Has a sixth sense for when to dish it. Now here's Quickly. 
10 points for him, and he drains it. A solid five for six now. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. For a player who came into the league with as much fanfare as Lonzo Ball, it wasn't the smoothest start, Grant. He dealt with a lot of injuries and adversity. And B.A., that makes the NBA learning curve that much steeper. Lonzo deserves a lot of credit for how he was able to stay grounded Step and stay focused. He tuned out the noise and kept developing his game. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well- Get out of the way! Oh, wow! And that's the sauce right there. I mean, every night, Levine approaches the rim like it's a dunk contest. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Now here's Ball. He has seven. No good on the shot. Ooh, excellent D there from Young. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Brown with it. Now guarded by Curry. The three from Ball. And again, it's oh. Chicago with a three. Lonzo. So much talk about the improvement in Lonzo Ball's three-point mechanics. It takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication. And the shot goes down. Curry's got six in the quarter. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Now here's Ball. Ten points for him. Soft touch off the glass. Ball's got 12 points in the game. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Harris outside. Three-pointer. Curry's shot is off. Chicago with the ball. 11-point game. Outside, Brown. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Quickly, outside. Pass to Harris. Now here's Young. Williams defending. And Young gets it to go. He's got 17. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Well, if you play that far off of Steph Curry, that pull-up game starts to become a weapon. Pass to Levine. And here is Brown. Three-pointer. And again, it's the ball from deep. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Young with the bucket. He's pouring it on at a nice clip and the rest of the team is stepping up as well. Ball against Curry. Right side, Levine. From outside the arc. That's good. And now he's 5 for 11 in this one. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Ball outside. Pass to Levine. Harris against Brown. Got a piece of it. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. He buries three. it from three. Young's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. A way team foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the Bulls. Derek. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. 
Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. There's six seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Levine. It could go. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Up eight. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four. Next. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist to the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Chicago trailing here. We've got Joe Harris. Stephen Curry is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Young in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. White against quickly. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Oh, I like their execution in the second half. They're keeping this game competitive. White's gone two for three from the field. Curry passes to Young. The three hits the three-pointer. Young's got 25 points. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Here's Levine. Second shot opportunity, and he lays it in. Athletic play from Levine down in the paint, using his physical gifts to navigate to a shot. Quickly outside to the wing on the left. Here's Young. Oh, how can you fly? Oh, impressive. Oh, wow. 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 That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Pass to White. Shot is up. That shot missing. Outside Young. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Here's Caruso. And down it goes. Two points. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. And Young gets it to go. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Curry. Here's Levine for three. On oh, target from range. Levine's got 12 points in just the second half. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. Offensive board. Ooh, excellent D there from Young. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Drops in the three. Young's got 32 points. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Levine. Back to Caruso. Offline with a baseline jumper. And they just continue to dominate the boards. There's Young with the three. He drops it from range. Young's got 35. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Harris against Levine. All alone. And he gets the bucket. Levine's got seven points here in the quarter. From mid-range, Levine has plenty of game. He tends to gravitate toward the three-point line, but if the in-between jumper's Stephen there for him, Curry. he can knock it down. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Shoot. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. This is special. 
we are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. You know, some guys aren't the same player on the road. Not this guy. He loves sticking it to an opposing crowd, and it only adds fuel to his fire. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan was saying to the team. He's been really discouraged by their effort. He said, quote, it's about want to, fighting through the adversity. Look at yourselves and ask, quote, what can I do to help us win? He's laying down the challenge. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Chicago with the ball. They trail by 11. The kick out to ball from behind the arc. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Levine's got five assists tonight. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Well, he's doing everything he can to make them competitive. And by everything, I mean draining threes. Levine against Harris. Levine passes to Williams. That one falls. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. 141 left to play in the fourth quarter. And here's Curry for three. No luck on that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Outside Levine. And Young pulls it down. Young's got a rebound number five here tonight. Over Williams. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Young's got 43 points. Levine against Harris. And the dunk by Levine. Over the seasons, Levine's really grown into his scoring potential. He consistently finds points now. And then Young slams it in. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Up top, Levine. Guarded by Young. It's deflected. And they get it back. Ball against Curry. Driving inside. And he banks in the layup. Got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, that's what you tune wow. in for right there. Wow. Known for his explosive athleticism, gotta like watching Levine finish with power at the basket. Their focus has been terrific. They really put on a clinic here today. Yeah, the cool thing is, is that they look like they're having a blast out there. Everyone on the same page, contributions across the board. Ball outside. Here's the three. Offensive rebound. Comes up empty down low. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good the shot. Assist. You need Number to bring a lot of help to stop him. Man, with his elevation, he might just rise above it anyway. The deep three from Levine. Sinks it. What range from downtown. That's just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense Seven knows they're in Curry. trouble. And both teams Three. running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And so the road team gets the W in this one. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Steph, I know it's still early, but how do you evaluate this team and its ability to go the distance? Uh, in terms of communicating about our principles and how we're going to be successful, trying to chase another championship, we're definitely uh, on the same page. Just a matter of staying focused every night, giving the best effort we can, and just you know enjoying the journey because it's a long year. Well, you've been there. You know what it takes. Thanks, Steph. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.